Welcome to Reading Out Aloud. Today I am going to read Finding a New Home Team from the 5 Minute Basketball Stories, written by Sarah Howden, illustrated by Nick Crane. Finding a New Home Team. Swish! Two points! I'm killing time practicing my free throws in the gym. If I go home, I'll just have to do more packing. Out of the corner of my eye, I see Coach Sharma heading over. You've been shooting hoops for a while, she says, coming to stand by the basket. You're worried about the big move? I glance at her and nod. My family's moving to Houston, Texas, a whole other state. Have you ever heard of Yao Ming? She asks. It seems like it's out of the blue, but I know Coach. She likes to talk basketball, but she's always got a lesson hidden somewhere. Yeah, I say. All I remember is he's super tall. I take a shot. The ball bounces off the rim. Coach grabs it and chucks it back to me. Seven foot six. One of the tallest NBA players ever. He was on the Houston Rockets. Your new home team. I trace the lines on the ball with my finger. I don't think Houston will ever feel like home. Yao Ming grew up in Shanghai. Before he came here, he was a star in the Chinese Basketball Association. Then he got chosen by the Rockets and became the first ever international player to be a number one overall draft pick and only the second Chinese-born player in NBA history. Pretty amazing, I say. Coach really knows her stuff. But, she says, that means Yao had to move from his home to a whole new country, learn a whole new language, and play ball with a whole new bunch of people. As talented as he was, there were so many expectations on him, not just from NBA fans, but from his millions of fans in China too. Millions? Yikes. I turn back to the basket, imagining all those people are watching me. I aim, shoot, and miss. Coach passes the ball back. It was a big change for Yao because things in America were so different, including basketball. In the Chinese league, other players would often back off because he was so big and strong. In the NBA, the game was rougher and people would take him on no matter how tall he was. So there was a lot to learn. There always is. Some place new, I mumble, repeating something my mom told me. Coach nods. He was so shy and nervous that when everyone here started calling him Yao, he just let them. But in China, they put the last name first. So his first name is actually Ming. Wait, what? I stare at her. We've been calling him the wrong name this whole time? Yep, she says with a shrug. But that was the least of his problems. He only got to Houston 10 days before his rookie season started, so he hardly had any training time with his team. Suddenly, there he was, out on the court with all those fans watching. In his first game, he didn't score a single point. I shoot. Too high. It bounces off the backboard. But you know, practice makes perfect, coach says with a smile. He just kept on working at it, and soon he was scoring with the best of them. His career average was 19 points per game. 19 points? That's more than our whole team scores most games. And get this. In his first time playing against Shaquille O'Neal and the Lakers, he blocked Shaq's shots three times in a row. He was truly one of the best centers of his time. Yao became an eight-time NBA All-Star, and in 2009, he took the Rockets to the second round of the playoffs for the first time in more than 10 years. Plus, he gave a huge boost to basketball in China and inspired millions of kids there, and here too, to give the game a try. I pretend I'm Yao and stand up as straight as I can, 
take aim and try to think like I'm seven feet tall. Ready? Aim? Easy does it. I make the bucket. Nice, coach says. I grin. So are you saying I should sprout three feet and become the star on my new school's team, just like Yao? She laughs. Yeah, sure, she says. Or maybe if you get on the team, take your time and play your best, that new school won't be so bad after all. I think about it. I'll try, I say. Thanks, coach. I toss her the ball. I guess I should be getting home. I've got a lot of packing to do. Thank you for listening. Please like and subscribe. Also tell your friends about reading out aloud. New stories are added daily.